Hey everyone, Speed D-Man here, and welcome to a new Let's Play here, playing as Australia. We're going to move over in one in position and work our way to here. We are immediately going to, once we have access to it, get started on progress for a strong campus. In order to chop woods, uh, we will need to first get mining, and then we will go into writing. The reason for that is so that way we can make use of the production that would be otherwise wasted if we just put the campus there. So for two reasons. The first being is that we could put a campus nearby and that would be at minimum a plus four campus. Um, depends if there is anything nearby as well. It might be another mountain tile or something close, but we shall find out. First things first, as normal, pick up a scout. Got a decent working tile to start off with. So we'll take a look at other tiles that, that are available. Uh, we could go into this if we want to boost our production means. You know, that's not a bad option. Slow growing, but could be good. Mount Vesuvius is good, though, for the other reason. And that has to do more with the constant, um, just constant bonuses that are being applied with the eruptions. You know, high yields adjacent tiles, but large population loss. So as long as we keep population away from it, when it's just erupting and then as soon as it's done erupting we pop back on it for a little while and we get back on it and we just cycle back and forth basically but we want to do that actively through the game and we'll be able to get the maximum value void singers not a bad option i would rather go into hermetic order for now what we have the option of doing is holding on to that governor title and the reason for that is I want us to get some more information about what's around us in the map so we can make some better decisions. So we've met the Incans. Okay, so we've met the Incan Empire. That boosts our writing and it also puts us in an overall better position. We're actually going to go north here and go east. Several closely Another situated wonder. granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth. Could settle there too, because uh, what this does is that doubles the yields of adjacent tiles. So another settlement that we can forward settle. Two, three, four. This has four camps here. Let's just kind of think about that for a second. That's four camp locations. That's a ton, ton of luxury resources. I'll move on top of there. Good, so we found two wonders already. The wind howls. So that's a pretty good start. Hermetic order is definitely good for this playstyle. Could definitely be useful. So the ley line here would allow us to actually get another campus. That could be a really good position here. Both of those would be strong campuses. That'd be a plus five campus, maybe me, maybe a plus six if I put a harbor down. And then that'll be a good one supplemented by the ley lines. So that's pretty powerful. So we will go ahead and Oh, we got a relic. This is actually not bad. That speeds up our Pantheon game. Footprint of the Apostle. Okay, so that's actually not bad. That plays into our game well. Let's utilize our movement here. The no monument will help speed up play. our culture game as well. And us having that additional faith per turn is super huge. A relic this early in the game can definitely make a big difference for us. Immediately would give us like a ton of gold per turn, but we can actually uh, milk much higher value out of that. So 
Someone already got religious settlements. We are first going to chop that out. Oh, well, we have access to another builder. That'll serve its use to us soon. Bring ourselves north. Making our way through the turns here. Okay, so we will get started on that. We're actually going to move you here. Chop that out. And six turns away from getting access to a campus. That's good. Uh, we could go for a granary. That would actually really help us in the long term. It would just basically allow us to keep our, you know, keep our growth really well sped up here. And then that could be an option. I don't want to chop that. I would rather keep that so that way I can make that into a good lumber mill. The peel's not really high there anyway, so not a big deal. Yeah. Because once we have our granary, we're definitely going to be limited in overall growth, so we are going to need to mass produce as many settlers as possible. Is that a hill tile? It is. We're actually going to get on there. Oh, he's not going to die. Yeah, I'm going to have to attack this unit then, because he's going to go after my scout. I thought it was going to die. Okay. Guess not. Is what it is. Um, I don't really have anything else I want to chop at the moment, so I'm just going to hold on to what I have here. And then, once we have writing done, let's immediately go into Celestial Navigation. Actually, we'll go that into that. Because then we can improve those two tiles here and then get some added values and bonuses. So there we go. Bit of a skip. And hold on to this unit. I'm actually going to bring these guys back home, keep them nearby. Have this unit heal. Nine air score away from a golden age. Golden age would definitely be useful. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city plan. As our civic writing, that's finally the have access to our first campus to build. Plus five and a plus five, both are very high level. We are going to make use of that. And that plus five will get better once we have another district down. I'll turn into a plus six. We're going to place that down here. We are then going to take a look at other available positions here. It wouldn't really be enough. Once, if we were to build the campus in time, that would give us a few arrow score. So let's bring... Uh, I'd rather bring something over here. It's the yield potential here. It's only to production. Try to get that started. And then we're going to go going to go monument into granary. Let's keep ourselves out of range here. not going to be able to do anything to me. What I can do, though, is I can kite them up north. And I'm strongly considering that as an option, just to be able to mess with the AI, slow them down a little bit. Craftsmanship and Celestial Navigation both got boosted, so that's good. That's going to save us a little bit of time on some upgrades that we will need. Um, that's a powerful thing for us, so we will utilize that. Let's go ahead in this position, let's fortify, fortify, 
I'm not going to be able to go for those, but we can pick up uh, Kabul suzerainty, and we can get this campus going, and that would give us enough era score to get the Golden Age. So we will go for that. Have this unit go here. We're now turn. Okay, so we're now ten turns away. Good, so there's a nice plus three error score right here. And then the few turns, about four turns, we're going to no pick up right another two error score himself. from Suzerainty. So that will give us the Golden Age. And the Golden Age in the Classical Era is going to be very nice for us in the early game. We have enough faith for us to potentially pick up a Settler. That'll speed up our early game. We could go for a Holy Site here if we want. Um, that way we could really go heavy into the faith game. I kind of like that idea. Even though that's a plus six, which is super, super high value. Um, let's let's go for that. Let's going to waste that food tile, but there's so much faith gem that we can get here. And that's going to pay itself in dividends in the later on stages of the game. Now it's time for me to poke it. Five turns away from that, that's perfect. And then once we have access to harbors at seven population, we will make a focus for that. I normally wouldn't go for the holy site, but because we're getting this golden age here, we absolutely are going to need to max out our faith generation so we can really try to pick up some of these other cities, and that's going to help us a lot. In this position, let's pick up uh, Monumentality. Great. It's going to be the super helpful one for us. As we can see, Saddler's only 150 uh, faith in this case. So we're going to be getting double our faith generation, so basically every 15, you know, 20 odd turns we're going to have another Settler. And that'll only get better over time. We can take this off if we want. We are getting a nice amount of faith, so I mean, we'll be down to 10 faith per turn, but that's fine. And then what we could do is we could pick up, you know, a little bit faster production. That'll take a little bit of time off some of these other upgrades and things that I want to work on. Keep these guys fortified so they can take the hits. The more they tank these hits, the better. And then we will make an effort towards getting the 20 error score. Plus, keeping them fortified will be good because they can survive these attacks a little bit better. And all I ask. Good. Got access to slash navigation. That's perfect. We are now going to make a push for education. That way we can get universities. The earlier we get those, the more competitive we'll be in the science game. We're going to be behind Pachacuti by a good amount, but in the situation that we can push for these other things, uh, we can be a little bit better off. We definitely just want to be passive about this. Maintain position and just keep them fortified. They can be they can be able to tank those hits as well as needed. One turn away from getting a holy site, so that's good. Um, yes, it will eventually kickstart our great profit, you know, production. So you can see here, a few other players are already going for that, but we can be one of the other players that go for it. So no dogs in it'll be useful for us. We did get a very strong holy site here. We're going to go ahead and kill this unit off. Yep, it's overall a pretty safe setup. Just king king. Coast. We're going to send a delegation to them. They sent us one, we're gonna send them one. We know there's another sieve somewhere. Um, they most likely are an aquatic sieve that has already put down, you know, a galley of some kind. We have our third city, so that's good. We are producing a nice little bit of faith at the moment per turn. We have quite a while until the next era, so we should be able to get another two or three cities down for sure. 
if we keep boosting our faith generation, like that's a that's a oh wow, that's a plus eight. That's insane. That's a plus six campus though. That is super high level. I like the idea of putting a plus seven there and then a plus six campus. I can live without putting a campus there. I can put something else there. Um, the thing is, I could put a theater square there. Because with this ability, uh, theater squares will be getting uh, plus three, and that will get much better. So it makes more sense that we can put a theater square there. Doesn't create this whole tile kerfuffle, and we can make better use of the position. So that actually works very well and plays well into our game style. We're going to go into population growth first. That way we get that earlier and then we will go into that tile. Um, that's a great tile. That is a fantastic tile. But in this position, it makes more sense for us to, to kind of not overfocus on that. Because the production, while it is nice, uh, I would rather get the growth May faster. The of evil be you have access to archery. Um, not really a big deal. And he has a significantly large army. We are going to declare friendship with him. Going to pick up more of these delegations. Or rather, these uh, Diplo Favor. So that's a problem. I don't have a way to defend that city. Well, I hope I'm not about to have a city just disappear, because that's going to suck. Let's get rid of that unit. Have him go here and immediately start getting set up for another attack. I'm going to bring this unit up north. Try to get them in the position to help defend at some point, but if the city is going to get razed and destroyed, there's literally nothing we can do. It's under siege now, yeah, it's nothing we could do. Science City stay right here, okay. For sure, if the city's going to get razed, it's going to be gone. Just no if ands or buts about it. I'm afraid I have I'm a slinger here. Not worried about the fact that the game's saying we're bankrupt. We're not really going to be in a problem. I'm more concerned about protecting the city because if we cannot protect the city, we lose the city because they will just outright instantly, you know, raise and pillage the city and then it's gone. So whatever we had here is poof, gone, and our progress is going to get eliminated. So we need to prevent that from happening. Or at least slow it down as much as possible to help kind of keep us alive. Got decent gold per turn. And plus having an emergency unit here to help kind of potentially distract some of these guys might help. Kill this unit off, get the boost for archery, complete the boost for archery. May the forces of evil. It's going to cost us uh, 60 gold, so we need to get 60 gold from him somehow. We need that fate gen right now. Good. And we have the means to pick up an archer next turn. We have very little time before before the city goes down, so we really need to like get this archer up and running and then get these guys over there help just kind of slow things down just a little bit. If we could buy enough time we could survive this onslaught here. A lot of units just moved so there's only gonna be a couple units that can attack this one and that one. But if I can get some of these units to attack that instead, we can potentially hold it off. 
I can make this work. I need to deal with that barb camp though. I honestly am surprised he's let it come on that far. Who has a promotion available? Archer. So we will move them down and promote, or we'll move them down, attack, and then promote the falling turn. get that builder though so let's get that builder pick up this setup here it's, it's very much focused on that let's get our science caught up a little bit the more we catch up our science the more we'll be able to kind of deal with this threat here good so they're focusing on the wrong thing good good that's gonna buy us some time lose the unit that's fine again I'd rather lose a scout than a city. I really don't want to lose a city. But I'm going to go city garrison strength, that way I can really do some heavy damage to these guys. Keep them on the city, just that way we maintain de uh, defensive strength. This area is locked off, so I'm going to need to go around from the east. It's good to know. Let's chop this. That'll complete that. I'll place that down. It's going to take quite a while, but it'll be very, very helpful for us. Let's put this on, just shave a turn off of that. Good thing is we have so much combat strength by having that garrison now that we can plow through a lot of these troops and defend the city very well, so. I'll happily do that in a heartbeat. Actually, I'm not going to chop this. I, I might actually bring Magnus over and then do that. Unless I might put... Hmm. It's a decision I'll have to think on. Because I could reassign Magnus into Geelong, or Geelong, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, and that could help us. That, that would actually provide us with a nice boost to what we're working on. So, yeah, we'll, we'll hold off on that and we'll just have this person go to sleep. And then I would say, you know, a big thing that we can keep is we can keep discipline on. That'll be very, very helpful for us this stage. Just keep us strengthened against the opponents, really, because there's so many barbs in this area, and I know for a fact there's a barb camp right here. Let's actually start bringing the scout to the west. Now that we've secured the area and can say that they are safe, and then we will see if we can get the scout further up. Okay, so got that upgraded and set up. That's good. Having a library will help us as well. Now that we have access to chop this, we are going to chop. That will bring us down to two turns. That is fantastic. It's really, really helpful for us. And then we will, uh, we won't worry too much about this being only plus four now. Once we have access to our religion, it'll be a lot better. Don't worry. But having that having these areas here develop the way they are will be good because they will develop and get better what we can also do in this position is we can develop um, the eiffel tower build and that'll be something we can go for just so that way we can boost our uh, potential yields up of a lot of our stuff that's going to be likely the way we go about this as well since magnus is there we're going to kind of hold him in that position for a little bit can move them around if we want. Uh, we have quite a few things we can kind of get growing and built up. So these troops aren't going to be doing too much to us. We just don't have a lot of growth potential at the moment.
yeah, I'll go ahead and next turn I'll just buy an archer as much as I don't want to. Um, just get a second archer just so I can deal with this. You know, two archers will plow through this a lot faster, so as much as I really don't want to have to do that, I may have to consider that as the option for us, really. Um, that's not a really terribly bad uh, deal you know, at all, really. Um, I give you, like, one gold per turn for, like, I'll take that, and then we will buy another archer. We'll hold on to this. Don't worry, uh, he's programmed to have this kind of output of science and culture this early in the game, so it's not the end of the world. We will catch that, but just not a major priority right now. Our priority is expansion. We will take an exponential growth pattern as we approach the mid-game. Since we can't really go around here, thought we could, but it seems like that's not going to be the case, so it is what it is. Let's get this other unit out here. Yeah, these barbarian horse archers are super weak. They're not very strong at all, so we can, we can completely destroy them with the range attack, so that's no problem. The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. Of course, a new barb scout spawns of all things. Have to get rid of it. Promotion available, good. We'll take the volley promotion. A few turns away from getting that going. So really, at this stage, um, we can take Discipline off if we want. Get another two gold per turn, that wouldn't hurt. Get two gold from that. Tough call. Pick that up and then we can actually hold on to... Hold on to this for now, because if I can keep that scout alive, uh, that would be more ideal. We go into that. Boost our science a little bit. Yep, and we did get it. Our popular. So a lot of the other good ones that we would normally want um, are taken. that more. I think that's four error score and we are four away now. Or a few error score and we're four away from a normal age. It's good. Gonna keep getting a bunch of uh, additional you know fate generation too and that's really good for us too. We need that. We're going to need to do something about those guys, though, so I'm hoping the city-state can fend them off for now. Okay, so... The campus will be built. That'll help us. I think uh, it needs to be three or more um adjacency points and if it is three then we should be able to pick up um, a couple error score from that then getting a nice bounty of faith generation so that's quite nice let's get our harbor going it's going to be more important that we get some serious growth in these cities. Got a little bit of production from you know, having a holy site here. That's a plus four holy site, so it's not bad. 
could make a push for theology and pick up a holy site JCC bonus increase. That could be very powerful for us. It's also more of a problem that we keep seeing these barbs and they just do not go away. Key thing is, is that we are going to focus that aspect of survival. I think this is a pretty good stopping point for this episode. I want to thank you all for your time. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily content, and we'll keep the videos coming. Alright everyone, y'all have a good one. Speed D-Man out.